Hey guys, it's Marky and welcome back to my channel. If this is the first video you're watching from my channel, I suggest you subscribe so that you can updated kayo sa mga educational videos that I upload ko tulad nito. So welcome to another episode of the Senior High School Subject Series that I'm doing here on my channel where I'm going to share with you what are the topics or lessons that we're going to talk about specific subject of Senior High School. Before I continue this video, if you are interested in painting or art or DIY, you can check out Darling Art's channel and be inspired by her beautiful paintings na in upload niya sa channel niya. I will also link her channel in the description box below so you can check it out. So let's start the STEM lessons for Biology 1 and 2. In General Biology 1 and 2, I specialize subjects ng mga students na mag-enroll sa STEM strand ng senior high school. So our subject for today is General Biology 1. This subject is designed to enhance the understanding of the principles and concepts in the study of biology, particularly life processes at the cellular and molecular levels. This also covers the transformation of energy in organisms. So, content and competency. Yung content is yung lessons or topics na pag-uusapan sa Biology 1 at yung competency naman ay yung mga gagawin nyo or kailangan nyo i-achieve. So, first topic, cell. Under dyan, meron tayong cell theory, cell structure, and functions. Prokaryotic versus eukaryotic cell types. Cell modification. So, anong gagawin? You have to explain the postulates of the cell theory. So, as early as now, you research for the different cell theory. Describe the structure and function of major and subcellular organelles. You have to research about that. Another is distinguish prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells according to their distinguishing features. So I am not sure if you already took this one in junior high school but I think you did. And for biology one, pag-uusapan nyo pa rin itong prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. If hindi nyo pa alam yan, you can research about that in advance. Another is you have to classify different cell types, plant, animal tissues, and specify the functions of each. So, meron tayong cell types na plant cells and animal cells. So, you have to specify their difference. Another under cell is we have cell cycle, the mitosis, and meiosis. What you're going to do is characterize the phases of the cell cycle and their control points. So, you have to read the phases of the cell cycle. Ano ba yung nangyayari sa ating cells? Another is, you have to describe the stages of mitosis and meiosis. So, these are the different cell cycles, mitosis and meiosis. So, all you have to do is research for the stages of this cell cycle and describe each stage of this cell cycle. Another is, you have to explain the significance or application of mitosis and meiosis. So, you have to connect mitosis and meiosis to real-life situations. So, ano ba yung significance or applications ng mga cell cycle na ito? Another is you have to identify disorders and diseases that result from the malfunction of the cell during the cell cycle. So, you have to read about that. Under cell, we still have the transport mechanisms, letter A, simple diffusion, letter B, facilitated transport, letter C, active transport, and letter D, bulk, vesicular transport. So, ano ba yung mga yan? So, ano ba yung kailangan yung gawin? As a STEM student, that is, who is going to take the subject, you have to describe the structural components of the cell membrane. Ano ba yung mga structural components na makikita mo sa inyong cell membrane? So you have described that. You also have to relate the structure and composition of the cell membrane to its function. Another is you have to explain transport mechanisms in cells. You have to talk about diffusion, osmosis, facilitated transport, and active transport. So as early as now, you read about these transport mechanisms that is going on inside the cell. Another is you have to differentiate exocytosis and endo cytosis. Ano ba yan? So, you have to read about that. 
Another topic in Biology 1 is what we call biological molecules. Under that, we have structures and functions of biological molecules. We have carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, enzymes, and nucleic acids. So, anong gagawin? You have to categorize the biological molecules. You have to categorize that one according to their structure and function or yung mga ginagawa nila sa ating katawan. Explain the role of each biological molecule in specific metabolic processes. So, ano ba yung function ng lipids, ng carbohydrates in our metabolic processes? So, describe the components of an enzyme. So, you read what is an enzyme and describe its component. Another is you have to determine how factors such as pH, temperature, and substrate affect enzyme activity. Another is we have energy transformation. We have ATP, ADP cycle, photosynthesis, and respiration. So all you have to do is explain coupled reaction processes and describe the role of ATP in energy coupling and transfer. Another is you have to describe the major features and chemical events in photosynthesis and respiration. So you have to research or read about that. You also have to explain the importance of chlorophyll and other pigments. So, for sure, na pag-usapan nyo na, na, na ito sa elementary. So, for biology one, you still have to talk about this one. Describe the significant events of the Calvin cycle. If you're not familiar with Cal Calvin cycle, you can Google that right now and research about that so that you'll have an advantage when, in, when you enroll in STEM and take biology one. Still under Energy transformation, you have to distinguish major features of glycolysis, Krebs cycle, electron transport system, and chemiosmosis. Describe reactions that produce and consume ATP, and explain the advantages and disadvantages of fermentation and aerobic respiration. So basically, yun yung pag-usapan sa biology 1. Now, let's proceed with general biology 2. So general biology 2, we have... This subject is designed to enhance the understanding of the principles and concepts in the study of biology, particularly hereditary and variation, and the diversity of living organisms, their structure, functions, and evolution. So, remember that you can only take General Biology 2 if you pass or you're done with General Biology 1. So, ganun pa rin, content and competency content, yung pag-uusapan or lessons, and competency is yung mga kailangan yung gawin, or kailangan yung i-achieve. So for general biology 2, the first topic is organismal biology. We have plant and animal organ systems and their functions and feedback mechanisms. So all you have to do is compare and contrast the following processes in plants and animals. So you have to talk about reproduction, development, nutrition, gas exchange, transport circulation, regulation of body fluids, chemical and nervous control, immune systems, and sensory and motor mechanics. Another is you have to explain, as a STEM student, you have to explain how some organisms maintain steady internal conditions that possess various structures and processes. Describe examples of homeostasis. Another topic in general biology too is genetics. You have to talk about Mendel's law of inheritance, sex linkage, central dogma of molecular biology, and recombinant DNA. Ano ba yun? So all you have to do is predict genotypes and phenotypes of parents and offspring using the laws of inheritance. So if you're not familiar with laws of inheritance, marami yan sa Google, you can search for that and study that in advance. You have to explain sex linkage and recombination. You also have to describe modification to Mendel's classic ratios of gene interaction. Illustrate the molecular structure of DNA, RNA, and protein. So when you talk about illustration, of course, you have to draw that one. Diagram, another drawing. Diagram the steps in DNA replication and protein synthesis. So you research about that in advance. Another topic for general biology too is the evolution and origin of biodiversity. We have relevance, mechanism, evidence basis, and theories of evolution. All you have to do is describe the general features of the history of life on Earth. So beyond. Another is you have to explain the mechanisms that produce change in population from generation to generation. So in here we are talking about biodiversity and evolution and origin. Another is show patterns of descent with modification from common ancestors to produce the organismal diversity observed today. 
course, you have to explain evidences of evolution ng tao. Marami yan. Fourth topic when it comes to general biology 2 is the systematics based on evolutionary relationships. So, anong gagawin? You have to explain how the structural and developmental characteristics and relatedness of DNA sequences are used in classifying things. Ano ba yung DNA sequences na yan? That, is, that are used in classifying living things. You have to read about that. Identify the unique, distinctive characteristics of a specific taxon relative to other taxa. Another is you have to describe species, diversity, and cladistics, including the types of evidence and procedures that can be used to establish evolutionary relationships. So basically, yun yung pag-usapan nyo sa General Biology 1 and 2 if you're planning to enroll in STEM strand sa senior high school. So I suggest you study in advance, especially if you're planning to enroll in STEM because hindi madali or hindi simple ang discussion na gagawin sa strand na STEM. So that's it guys. I hope you learned something today. If you learned something, don't forget to give this video a like or a thumbs up. Share it to your friends and comment below kung ano pa yung mga tanong nyo tungkol sa STEM strand or general biology 1 and 2 so that mapag-usapan naman natin. You can also check the description box below for the other videos about the different senior high school subjects. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more educational tips and advice. This has been your friend Sir Marky. Thank you for watching. Laban lang!